Hope you guys are doing well. Haven't talked in a long time. So wanted to, uh, I'm trying out a new setup here. So what do you think of this little display? Um, it's not just my face, uh, <laughs> which I know that that can get old. This market is, it's beyond insane. Um, I mean, when I got in the business in 2009, during and after the crash, you know, it was impossible to sell anything. That was frustrating. You know, of course, if, you know, it was a buyer's market and buyers could, you know, get discounts up the butt. Uh, sellers were just having to kind of do whatever. Not only are we seeing the reverse of that right now, I think it's even worse. I know that's hard to believe, but I, I just think that it's just, it's not fun for anybody. I don't even think it's fun for sellers. Um, a lot of the ones that I've worked with because yeah, you're getting multiple offers, you're getting above asking price and that's great. I don't, I don't want to diminish that. Um, but you're just getting overwhelmed. Um, you're, how do you even choose from, from multiple offers that are all really good and you may be getting letters from people or, you know, comments about, um, you know, people who just have been wanting to live in this neighborhood or, you know, whatever it is that, that kind of touches your heartstrings and you hate to turn anybody down. And yet, you know, you only have one house for sale and only one person can buy it. So at, in the end, you know, somebody's going to be disappointed. And then I'm having those conversations with multiple buyers who are, you know, making six offers, um, different places, and they never know which one they're going to get. I don't think it's fun. I think we need balance again. And when I say again, I don't know. I don't know that we've ever had balance in the 12 years that I've been doing this. It's we've gone from the buyer's market to a seller's market to this ridiculous, uh, ridiculousness right now. But I think there's there's a couple things going on. And one just kind of struck me this week that I wanted to talk to you guys about and get your opinion on. Um, I know it's easy to blame uh, our parents, the, the baby boomers, uh, for things. And a lot of people are. But uh, you know what? I, I think there's something to that. You know, when I was getting in, um, on all my training in real estate and they were saying, you know, the average person moves every seven years. Um, uh, but I'm looking at all of my friends, parents, because, you know, us Gen Xers, our parents are the baby boomers. And you guys haven't moved in 30 plus years. You're way off on that. You know, you look at any of the, the boomers in our neighborhood, in your neighborhood, they're like the original owners of the house in many cases. They've, they've been there at least, you know, 20, 30, 40 years. Some still own the houses that my friends grew up in and I'm getting close to 50. So, you know, we're, we're talking about those 50 year people. And so here's my plea to you guys. You need to move, get an RV, tour the country. That could be fun. <laughs> you know, get a condo on the beach. But you don't need those big houses and uh, the, the Gen Xers and Millennials need your house. <laughs> so I'm telling you, it's it's time. And I, I'm not pushing you into the retirement retirement home. I guess that's an option, but you know, you, you got to go somewhere. <laughs> uh, another thing is, so w buyers are recognizing this problem, especially move up buyers. So people who will have something to sell before they buy, they're not wanting to list their properties. You guys are adding to this problem. You're, you didn't cause the problem, but you are adding to this problem by not listing yet. You're waiting to find something and you know what? Somebody else is waiting to find yours. So we need to, we need to put an end to this cycle. Um, there is such a thing as a private listing network. So if you're, you know, you're saying, well, I'm not ready to list because I haven't found anything. We still need to get it out there. We need to put that out there. So I'm going to challenge everyone um, at least a week before Memorial Day. Uh, what is Memorial Day is the last day of May, I think, right? May 31st. So by May 24th, let's say all of you people who are waiting to list, you, you need to be at least in the private listing network. You may not accept an offer uh, or start showings, but we need to get that inventory in the system uh, in the next three, four weeks. Um, let's do it all together so everybody can see what's coming out there. Obviously, I'm happy to do that for you. I can put it in there. I, we need to get that 
in there so that um, we can stop this cycle. I mean, it's like the transplant cycle, um, right? Where people are on the list waiting. They're waiting for donors. And like, let's say kidney, you know, that's something that we don't require a death in order to, to have. Um, but people will go in and sign up as donors. And it starts that cycle where if we can get the donors in, they can start to pair them up and get a, uh, a cycle going. Let's do the same thing with housing. Get your house in the queue. And, uh, you know, I'm talking to you baby boomers too. Let's get your house in there, okay? If you're thinking at all of moving, let's get that started so we can start to uh, loosen up some of this inventory because this is just ridiculous. I don't know who else we need to talk to about uh, loosening this up because you know, I know you guys alone aren't going to do it. The, the boomers and the move up buyers here. We, we need to get started. Well, that's it. That's what I wanted to say. Please, if there's anything in the world I can do to help you out, just ask. You can call, text, email. See you then. Bye.